Let's try a different way. Let's go here. And let's see how we do with this setup. I feel like this might actually be stronger than necessary. Okay. So we got help here, so that's good. We got lots of lots and lots of um, Iron Crusaders, huh? And how is it that these... How is it that... There you go. Let's take that out. But I was so surprised that the Cavaliers basically just like walked all over me there for a little bit. Alright, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and take out these Iron Crusaders now. So with my setup here, I don't have a problem, right? So I think like this is really sort of like stronger, stronger team. So the problem is getting the getting to the tower. Do I? I guess that's what we're supposed to do. I guess that's what we'll do. We'll use um, we'll use Luna more, and if we can use Luna, then I think what I can do is I could focus a little bit more on. Sort of more defense here, and instead I'll I'll go like this. I'll I'll, I'll defend Chase more instead. All right, let's defend more. And if we burn, focus on burning down here. That might actually work better. So let's use God instead, and let's use. I think we'll do that. All right. So knowing that Luna's uh, skill is effective against the orcs here really helps. So then what we'll do is uh, we will focus on taking down that right there. And let's get rid of the... Let's basically get rid of these guys as soon as possible, right? So the hope is we can burn them down. All right, so that that's good. So we can burn them down there. I think now we need to focus on the bottom lane here. Let's focus on the bottom lane. Let's try and burn and use the... Okay, so good. We got rid of the wolf riders. And now let's go ahead and use the infernal wall. And I'm not going to worry about that single orc over there. Because we can just take care of them with our vampires. Okay, so this is much better. This is a much better uh, better approach. And then we're going to use Land on Fire over here to take care of their Wolf Riders. Cool. And we'll burn down the rest. There you go. Okay, so that was the trick here uh, for this particular map. Look, <laughs> using only two orange um, units, I was able to take it up there. Um, Gog is the MVP, right? So you with Gog, Efreeti, Vampire. So that was 9-1. Awesome. Let's move forward and take a look at 9-2. So 9-2, increased damage of earth spells, health of defensive units. Sounds like that would be the right place to go. And again, we've got the Thunderstorm Crystal Tower Monolith and all of these machines. Essentially the same team. Interesting. Oh, this one is basically you don't want to put so I don't want to put any big units in the corners because we got pikemen. And these dendroid guards are perfect for actually that's, that's perfect, right? Dendroid guards are perfect for um for Solmir. Now, in terms of this, it's like the same thing, but I don't. I don't want the. Actually, I think charger would be fine because I can use this. Hmm. Although it feels like it might be easier to push through the pikemen up here. 
So we'll use the same setup here and now let's try the same battle for Trial of Light using this setup. Oh wow. Yeah, we're gonna have to get we're gonna have to get through this uh, these machines for sure, huh? So we'll go, go ahead and attack. How, how, how effective is Luna's uh, skills here? Looks like it's okay. Right. Okay, so it's it's okay, but what we want to do is we want to take care of these guys first, and then we'll take care of the we'll take care of the orcs in the back. I think right now, actually, because I can we can we can actually inferno wall them down right now, so we can just take out their health. Because I think they don't attack until you approach them. So let's go ahead and take them out. Use our spells to take them out. We got the front line, so front line is no problem for us. All right, so we just need to take out these guys. So yeah, we'll just Inferno Wall here. It's been a while since I've used Luna, and her Inferno Wall skill is still quite useful. So that's good. All right, that's... That one was easy. So this... This next level, I think we're going to use Solmir to take down these uh, force of the Ventry Guard that's actually technically the uh, Guardian of the Forest, if you look at the trees here. But we do have to deal with Mathala. I think we will be okay. Hmm. They do have a... Uh, they do have a healer over there. What's going on over here? Oh, they're attacking my... Th that's for me. Okay. Interesting. Alright, so as soon as the immunity is over, we're gonna go ahead and... Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use a Chain Lightning here on the Dendroid Guard. Because it is most effective against big units. And now they're gonna come back and support the teams. But we're gonna go ahead and give ourselves a little bit of a... A little bit of a uh, dodge. Take out the first Dendroid Guard. Good. Now they're in immunity, so I'm going to wait until the immunity is over. Then we're going to use the Thunderbolt. There you go. And this level is actually a lot easier. I mean, like, it's it's way easier than um, the 9-1, actually. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. We just need to take out the Dendrite Guard, and then now it's just the Wood Elves or the Sharpshooters, and that's gonna—that's not an issue. Ah, immunity though. So let's give ourselves a little bit of a dodge. And so that's nine dash two. Yeah, pretty easy. Like this, this whole floor is a lot easier actually uh, than floor eight. <laughs> 